Babies were being born without arms because the thalidomide was interfering with the DNA and the development of the, of the new baby. E. Genetically modified foods. Genetically modified foods is the combination of the DNA of two different species being spliced together, maybe an Atlantic salmon and a tomato, hoping to create a tomato that grows in the snow, but it actually doesn't. And it's got five centres. And when you eat genetically modified food, it has the potential to damage your DNA. Vladimir Putin. About 20 years ago, he passed a law in Russia that any Russian who grows or sells genetically modified foods is to be considered a terrorist. He's giving land away to Russians who will grow organically grown food. You just put GMO and, and Putin into, the, into your web and you'll see what he says. He says, we look at the West. He said, we see that they are over-medicated, over-vaccinated, <laughs> malnourished, sitting in front of boxes for hours every night. Is he right? And we see it's weakening the West. Unfortunately, Monsanto is so big, they win every court case where Americans and Australians are trying to get it put on the labels if it's genetically modified or not. If you buy organic, you can be assured that it's not genetically modified because if an organic farmer uses genetically modified seed, he loses his organic status. Molds. Mold is toxic. And I find that in America, people are more exposed to it than say in Australia because many homes in America have basements in many homes in America, it's snow, so there's... <laughs> and I also know if you have a hurricane, there's water damage, so that, that mould has the ability to damage the DNA. Electromagnetic field, excess, we are electrical people. There's a spark of electricity in every cell in the body and the electromagnetic field that is in your cell is not the same that's in your device. <laughs> So be careful on your exposure to electromagnetic field. Please don't put it on your body. Please keep it away from your body. And please don't sleep with it in your room. Charge your phones in the next room. All of these have the potential to damage the DNA. Genetics may load the gun, but it is lifestyle that pulls the trigger. We can turn the genes on or off by what we do to our body. And we'll explore that in a little bit more detail this week. But what I'd like to look at is what is a mold. It's a microorganism. Micro means microscopic, can't see it. Organism means it's living. Now you can certainly see mold, but you can't see it until it gets to the reproductive stage. So when it's at the reproductive stage, it's quite well established. Microorganisms are everywhere. They're in the air we breathe, they're on every surface area, they're on our body, they're in our body. Ten times more microorganisms in our body than cells. Ten times more microorganisms in our gastrointestinal tract than anywhere in the body. And whenever the environment is right and the body that runs according to precision balance, when it's in the correct balance, these microorganisms are contributing to the proper running of the human body. But whenever cell damage happens, these microorganisms can change roles. These microorganisms, whenever there's cell damage, they now become the cleanup team, or as one microbiologist said to me, Barbara, as pathologists, we call them the garbage collectors. So what's the name of these garbage collectors? It might surprise you and it might not. It is bacteria. That's what bacteria is. That's what it does.